Hello everybody. How's it going? Here I am again today. And today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little pumpkin. This is, um, I made this with Super Saver size 4 yarn. And I, um, I actually got inspired by making this um, from Black Ribbon Studios. Um, I Denise had a little, she was making a little purple pumpkin on her, one of her videos. And so she said everybody tried to make a, a, a purple pumpkin. So I made a purple pumpkin and I don't have it with me today. I'm so mad I didn't bring it with me. But um, I also made an orange one. So I showed you the purple one is exactly like this. But it's actually made out of variegated yarn. So um, I'm going to show you how to make this today. And I'm using this variegated uh, kind of browns and beige. And um, then the purple one is pur different shades of purple and beige variegated, the one I made. So I'm going to just use the browns. I thought a brown, one of these, um, a pumpkin in this color would be really nice. So I'm, we're going to start out with an, a size H hook. It's a uh, five millimeter H hook and then um, the variegated four yarn and you're gonna need a darning needle and that's it so let's get started okay so the first thing we're gonna do is make a slip knot and you put your uh, hook through the slip knot and we're gonna chain 20 two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so there's our chain. We chain 20. Okay, so now we're going to do um, single crochet in every chain across. Okay, so you just single crochet in every single chain all the way across. And this is what your chain should look like. Okay, so you just go into the hole, bring up a loop, and go through two loops. Go into the chain, bring up a hole, a loop, and go through two chains. Go into the loop, bring up a chain. You have two loops on the hook. Go through both. Okay, so you do that all the way across, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and go across so I can show you how to what's next I may actually made another tutorial on how to make the pumpkins and it ended up uh, being short it ended too short and I it didn't show the full way how to make the pumpkins so I'm having to make another one so that that way you can see how to finish the pumpkin okay so now there's your strip that's what it looks like. Okay, so now the second row, you're going to chain one and turn the work. Now I want you to go into the second, the back loop. That's the back loop of the chain. Bring up a loop. You have two loops on the hook and go through both. That's um, the back loop only, single crochet. So you're going to go through the loop, have two loops on the hook, go through both, and bring through the... the um, Bring, bring through both loops, okay? So go through the back loop, bring up a loop. You have two loops on the chain, go through both. Okay, so, and then see how it's giving you a ridge. So you're gonna do that, and we're gonna do that all the way across, back loop only. You're gonna do a single crochet in each chain, back loop only, all the way across. And I want you to do this because you have 20 on here. So I want you to do this for 20, actually um, 28 rows. Okay, 28 to 30 rows. Um, if you want it to be a little bigger, you can do 30 rows. But I did, I think I did 28 on mine. Um, so actually this is 30. This one right here is 30. So you chain 20 and you do a uh, single crochet back loop only for 30 rows. Okay, so this is what it looks like. See how you're getting a little ridge? 
Okay, so chain one, turn the work, single crochet in each stitch, back loop only. Okay. So you're going to go all the way across, just like that. And I think these little pumpkins will look really cute on the table for Thanksgiving. I can't believe Thanksgiving is already here. It just seems like the months are flying by. And we are, I live in California, so it's still like 80 degrees or 90 degrees here. It's been so hot. It doesn't even feel like fall um, or like it's we're getting into winter. We haven't had that yet, although the news says that this week, we sh it should be getting a little cooler, so um, hopefully it'll get a little cooler because it has been really hot. Shorts and tank tops is what we're wearing. Okay, so um, I've gone all the way across, back loop only, and I'll show you what that looks like. So see how you have like a little ridge? Okay, so now, remember I said you have to do this for about 28 to 30 rows. So I already, I rather than have you sit here and have me do all those rows, I already had one made up. Now I know this is kind of crazy colors, but I just want to, I was doing different variegated yarns, making some pumpkins in different variegated yarns. So I've already um, folded it in. I fold both ends in. This is 30. And then I'm going to show you how I slip stitched it together. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into, um, you go into the stitches on this side, okay, and then you go into the stitches on this side, both of them, and then you pull the loop, uh, the yarn through the loop. Okay, so see how I have that loop? Go in through both sides, pull up a loop through that, okay? Pull up a loop through that loop. And you go in through both sides, pull up a loop, you're just closing it up, pull up a loop, that's called slip stitch. So now you're going to go all the way to the end and pull up a loop through both. And then I just crochet at the very end, one single crochet at the end. And that's how, how it looks. Okay, so now I'm going to pull it through, pull it all the way up. And you've got like a little tube. See that? And look how the ridges look. See how it looks like, uh, well, it looks like a pumpkin here. This looks kind of like just a ridge of colors, but it's kind of neat. And then what I do is I take my tapestry needle and I'm just going to thread the yarn through that, okay? And then you're going to go in and out, in and out, in and out, all the way around. I want you to do that with your yarn, uh, with the yarn that you have, you're using. Okay, so that's why you need to leave like kind of a, enough yarn left over so that you can have to, uh, enough to do this. Okay, so I'm weaving in and out all the way around. In and out, in and out. Okay, all the way around. And then um, in and out. Whoops. Okay, make sure you pull all your yarn through or you won't have enough. And then, uh, there we go. And then pull it through. And try to get stitches in areas where there's a, it's the yarn is kind of substantial. You don't want to go into where the holes are, just kind of where the stitches are. And then now pull it tight, just pull the yarn tight, and that's what you have. See? You've gathered it all up in the on the end, and then you just... Pull it tight and take a couple stitches at the top. I just take a couple stitches like this. There we go. And then um, to make sure it's tight and secure. Okay. And then there, there you go. That's what it looks like. Now I'm going to push this through the middle and just pull it through all the way in and then if you look here you can see that there it is see okay so now you can I just leave it there but before I do that I am just going to um, 
I just leave it inside. But before I do that, I just take a little stitch in here just to make sure that it doesn't come apart. You want to knot it. Take like a little, one little stitch to make sure that it's nice and secure. And then just kind of like that, knot it. And there you go. Okay, so now, let's see, there's the scissors. Okay, so here we are. So now you can turn it back inside out, okay, and then, or turn it back to the way it was. And then, now we have like a little bag, a little pocket. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stuff it and show you how to make the stem. Oh, I forgot the stuffing. Hold on. Okay, here I am. Okay, so I take the stuffing and I just stuff my pumpkin. Stuff it all in there. This is kind of like a... Uh, oh, I'm trying to think of... Let's see. This is kind of the fun part because now you're at the end and you're just stuffing up your pumpkin. So stuff it up nice and tight. Make sure it has plenty of stuffing in there. Okay? And then um, now I'm going to take a piece of yarn. It could be any, any um, well, actually I don't have that, another color, one of these. So I'm going to use orange because there's orange in this. So, you just go ahead and make a knot on your, your yarn. And notice I left quite a, a, it's quite a big piece. You want a good amount because you're going to shape your pumpkin. Okay, so now you push in your stuffing, or you don't even have to put the stuffing in until after you sew it. Actually, it might be easier to do it that way. And so now I'm going to do the same thing on this end that I did on the other end, and that is to weave in and out. You just weave in and out the top of your pumpkin so you can gather it up. Okay, I'm going to push this to the side so you can see. There we go. Just gather it all up. Just like that. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so you might, you gotta be careful that it doesn't get knotted up because if it does, then you're in trouble. And that's what happened here. It got knotted up. So let's see. Let me just try to cut that out. I don't know where it was, but uh, let's see here. Okay, so that one. Okay, so here's where I cut it. So now let me just make a knot so it won't come apart. And push it in and then we'll finish up with this one so if it gets knotted you can't weave it in and out because it won't go through so now I've got to start from here and keep going all the way around And I'm just weaving it and then now I've come to the beginning and you just pull let's see the thing is if you leave it too long it does get tangled occasionally okay so now you want to close up the top that's the top of your of here so what you do is you um, you're going to Take a couple of stitches at the top like that, just to close it up. And 
There you go. Okay. And then now, see that? It's like a little ball. It's cute, isn't it? It's like a little, little ball. Okay. So now, that could actually be used for a lot of things. You could probably, that could be a, like a little toy for a baby, huh? That's cute. Okay, so now you want to, I'm going to show you how to make the slices. Go into the bottom and back up through the middle. And then pull on your yarn. Oh, shoot. Let's see what happened here. There we go. Okay. So you're pulling through the yarn, pull the yarn through, and you're going to make like little slices. So I've got like one, one there, and then I'm going to go across and make them, just kind of like make them randomly, like kind of like how a pumpkin would have its, its little slices, its little bumps. Okay, there's another one. And you want to make sure that the stuffing is like, you know, it looks good. And then... Maybe I'll do one here, one here. So I go back through. You just keep going through the middle with your needle, and then you pull it up, pull your yarn up. And don't pull too tight, because if you break it, oh, then you have to start over again. So there is another one. See how it's kind of making for me little, like little, um, slices on your pumpkin. Okay, so now I'm going to do one over here. This side needs one. And then one here. So you just put pull it through. Okay. And then one here. I just kind of Everywhere I think that I need so that it's balanced out because you want all your little bumps to be kind of balanced out around the pumpkin. So let me see. Right here. Need another one right there. Okay. So now I've made all my little slices and they look pretty good. I might want to put one right there. You could also use this as a pin cushion. It would be a really cute pin cushion. And I think that would be another cute idea, maybe to make one like this and put a button and then um, make it a little pin cushion or have a little crocheted flower on the top. That would be really cute. Okay, so that's actually there. Oh, see, sometimes you want to make sure you get your... Okay, that's nice. That looks cute. So you just kind of straighten out all your little um, your little slices so that they look nice. This one here is kind of okay. So anyway, this is how it looks. Look, see that. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now that you're done making all your slices, you're just going to go back. I, I'm going to take it back through. And I'm going to make this side. You can pick what side you want to be the bottom and what side you want to be the top. I'm going to make this one my top. And I'm going to make this one the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a little stitch right there to secure it. And then bring my needle through and then just cut just cut the yarn because it's all wound up inside anyway it won't it's not going to come apart there you go and then in here this one we can just pull it through to pull it to the back just push it in there And that's the back, and this is the front. That's how it looks. See how pretty that is? That would make that actually makes a really cute pin cushion too. I think these colors, it's really pretty. So um, 
that's how you make your little pumpkin slices just like that oh also I wanted to well I was going to mention to you too when you're doing your pushing through if it gets to be too hard to pull through it wasn't for me this time but if it did I use this this plastic glove to pull my um, needle and it does help okay so there you, there's that okay so that's my pumpkin so now I what I want to do and that's see how I just want to make the show you how to make the little stem okay so you're going to take your black a uh, brown yarn or green whatever color you decide to do and I'm going to use a G hook I'm gonna go down one size for this and I'm going to chain three four five I'm gonna chain five and then join to make a circle okay now go ahead and carry your yarn with you and do um, chain one and do five single crochets into the circle Go ahead and do your five single crochets in there. Actually, I'm sorry, it's um, it's about nine or ten of them. Okay, whatever you have enough room for. Okay, then you pull tight on the bottom, and what you do is you join to the first single crochet. So you've got like a little button, like a little round button. Okay, so now you're going to chain one, and do a single crochet in each back loop around the back around all the way around one single crochet in the back loop all the way around okay so we're doing this all um so that would be like just a little you're doing a little ridge for the stem okay so back loop only all the way around and then you join to the first crochet and pull okay and then now um, the next row you're going to do sing a chain chain one and go through both loops and do single crochet all the way around both loops single crochet all the way around okay and that will be the the little stem that we're going to put on the pumpkin Okay, so now you join, and this is, it's getting big now, it's getting a little bigger. So now you chain one, and this time we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. And then we're going to do one single crochet, one single crochet in the next two, and then uh, two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets. One single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets. Okay, and then you're going to join to the first stitch and fasten off. And leave kind of a long tail so you can sew it on. Okay, so this is what your little stem looks like. Okay. And what I do is I take it and put it on the top of my pumpkin. I usually put like just a little bit of stuffing in it. And I stuff a little bit of stuffing in there. Just to keep it a little firm so it's not floppy. And then just kind of like put it on your pumpkin, on the top of your pumpkin. Okay. And let's go ahead and sew it on. So like that. And so now what I want you to do is just take some stitches. Take your pumpkin and um, take some stitches with the, with the yarn. Just go ahead and stitch it on there by taking a stitch there and then a stitch on the pumpkin. And there you go. Take a stitch on the, take a stitch on there on the brown. And then take a little stitch on the pumpkin. And just stitch it in place. Do, do it again. Take a stitch on the pumpkin. It's kind of hard here to show you. Okay, and then take a, a stitch on the stem and pull through. And do the same thing. Um, a stitch on the stem and a stitch into the pumpkin. There we go. 
see me go. And then another stitch here and one more stitch just to secure it. You want your little stem to be secure. Okay, and then back through the stem again. Okay, so now, and then you can kind of pull it out to make it look how you want it to look. You know, like just pull out your stitches a little bit. And then I just kind of take this and push it through the, the pumpkin. And then uh, that way it won't come apart. And you just cut it off like that. And there you go. It's all done. A cute little pumpkin. Is that cute or what? And so I'm ready for Thanksgiving. And this one is, I know it's very colorful. It's, <laughs> I know it's a very colorful pumpkin. Make a really cute pin cushion too. So it's kind of fun to do something really kind of, you know, colorful. Um, but I thought they'd be cute. You could put them on the table for Thanksgiving. And you can put them in. And then I made some tinier ones that you could put next to. You can make them a little smaller by chaining 15 and then doing, uh, I think it's 15 rows. And then do the same concept for as you did for the bigger ones. And they make smaller ones. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching my video, and I hope you make pumpkins and, and love them as much as I do. So have a really happy Thanksgiving. Bye, everybody.